butchering and cooking chicken was one of the first things I was shown how to do at college. The thing you need to do is have a sharp knife and we'll start to take it apart with the first job being take out the wishbone. There we go. Slits at the back and it should easily pull out. Once you've done that, it releases all the meat throughout the chicken, makes it much easier to prep. Next job, um, we're gonna take the legs off. So put your thumbs either side, you can see where the natural curve of the, of the carcass is, and just pull down and pull the leg out to the side, cut round, and it should come away nice and easily. So there's your two legs. Okay, next thing we need to do is take off the breasts. Feel for the backbone. There's a central bone all the way down and you want to cut either side of that to release the breast. So just again, use your fingers and then cut down there and just slide your knife along, hitting the bone. And that way you know you'll get a nice kind of clean cut through. Same on the other side. Slide your knife along, down, just to release the breast from there. So the last bit is to take the wings off, which you should just be able to cut through. So I'm going to show you how to cook the breast today, but you've got all these bits. So that's definitely for a, a lovely stock. You've got your chicken wings in there that you can either slow cook or fry. That would be a really nice thing to do. Legs, roasting and slow cooking. As I say, we're going to cook the breast. So butter roasting is a really nice decadent way of cooking chicken. It keeps it nice and moist. Trim your breast up so it's a nice shape and then cut through three or four times with a sharp knife just to make incisions at the top of the breast. And what that will do is it just helps the chicken cook evenly. Now we're going to season with molten salt. So pan's nice and hot, skin side down with the chicken breast. And now what we want to do is get this nice crispy skin already it's starting to brown up nicely. I'm going to flip that over. Just give it a seal on the underside and then add some butter in there. It may seem like quite a lot of butter adding in but um, it's kind of worth it. You can see that's foaming and there's the butter foams. That's exactly what you want. You can baste the chicken breast with the foaming butter and it just cooks it all over and adds layers of flavour to it. We're going to add some fresh thyme sprigs in there as well. Just works so well with chicken. Pop those in there. And just give it a final little base. Bring this over to our plate. And then just pop that down, spoon some of the butter over it, and then let this rest and relax for a few minutes. That is our butter roasted chicken with thyme.